All right, got myself an upgrade for my network. A TP-Link 8 port gigabit capable desktop switch or router. Uh, it's a TL-SG108 model. Basically it's a plug and play. Read a lot of reviews on it. Got this from Newegg and uh, this is uh, pretty well rated uh, for just basically uh, plug and play so to speak. So that's exactly what I need. Something with gigabit capability because uh, previous video that I made where I was I, my ISP has been increasing my uh, bill every year it seems like by five bucks and I'm not getting the speeds that I'm paying for and I come to find out the router that I or the modem that they supplied was part of the problem but I think a majority of the problem was the outdated TP-Link 8 port uh, router switch that I have in line right now which is only 100 uh, megabits per second capable so that's obviously slowing me down a good bit um, the modem I now have is uh, 1 gig capable the switch will also be 1 gig capable so I should be able to solve my problems with my internet speeds with hooking this up in line with my network so I'll go ahead and do an open box on it real quick to show you what it's like coming right out of the box get the packaging off all right, easy to use plug and play, compact form, desktop wall mounting design. Uh, it's also got a metal case. Uh, QoS ensures smooth traffic for latency sensitive applications such as voice and video, which is good because I think it's, it had good reviews for the Wi Fi capability as well. Um, so, yeah, it's got a basically fanless design. It's got green technology as well, which for me, uh, you know, that's not a big deal for me. I just want it to connect up and work. So now, let me go ahead and open it up so we can take a look at it. It comes in a nice solid cardboard packaging. So there's the switch right there. It comes with the adapter and the rubber feet for mounting if you want to mount it on a desk. And I'll probably be mounting it under my shelf above my desk. There's the mouse right there for screw holes, which I do have already in place with the existing TP-Link. Uh, uses a 9 volt power, but yet yeah, this is an 8 port setup. There's all 8 right there. Now, the old one I have is actually 9 ports. It's got the one input and 8 uh, outputs. This one only has, you know, basically 8 in and, you know, 8 in out, so to speak, whichever uh, one you decide to hook up to. Apparently, it's not a big deal uh, from what I've read. So. Yep, there's the mounts, because I'll be putting it in place once I get everything hooked up. The only thing I don't like about it, and people were talking about this online, it's got the power plug on the front. So, you know, there's no lights, which my older TP-Link switch has. So you can see the data, you know, that's transferring on, on the network. This one doesn't have that. Only lights are on the back, which that's where my cables would be, so I won't be able to see the actual data lights flickering. You know, the yellow for 100... Uh, megabits per second and the green for uh, one gigabit per second so yeah that's the only thing I don't really like about it but I mean as long as it works that's all I care about so we'll go ahead and uh, hook this up in my setup and we'll test it out all right real quick before I go out and do that I'm gonna go ahead and put these feet on so it's just basically a little 3m sticky on the back of the rubber feet and the little circles are already there on the switch to put them where they need to go. So I'll go ahead and do that. Is that right? Yep, there we go. Make sure I have the right side. All right, so there you go. All four feet are on the unit. It's probably hard, kind of hard to see, but you can see them there. All right, let's go hook it up. All right, real quick here, I'll go ahead and do a speed test with my old switch to show you the speeds that I'm currently getting. There's my download speeds, not even reaching 50 megabits per second. That's pathetic. 
Now the switch I've got it rated in line is supposed to give me up to 100, but it's not. So, and that's my upload speed. So I'm getting my upload speeds. And I'm basically on a 5 by 250 package currently. It's basically a standard package offered by my ISP. So there we go. Not even 47 megabits per second download and over 5 megabits upload. So now I'll go ahead and disconnect my old switch. I'll show it to you here real quick. Alright, so there it is. That's my old one. I've got it upside down. So you're looking at uh, my desk, basically with the TP-Link hanging from the bottom of my shelf here at my desk. And the old model I have is a TLR860. It's basically rated for only 100 megabits per second. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out, and as you can see, it's got the flashing lights, so you can see what's, uh, you know, what's coming over my network. And I'm going to lose that capability with this new model, but again, you know, some sacrifices have to be made for speed. So, you know, displaying on the front will obviously be sacrificed for, you know, better internet speed. So let me go ahead and get the new one hooked up, and we will do a new speed test. All right, so I've got everything disconnected on this one. Well, I got the power disconnected, so this is the input. Let me go ahead and get my switch here. I'm just going to probably hook this one up. It's going to have to go like this. So it's like number eight is where this one will go. Like that. And then that one will go here. Now, I used to have this thing completely full but I've eliminated a couple of computers over the years when I downsized my business. So, this thing is a little difficult to twist around. Okay. Got my power cord run already, so I'll go ahead and hook it up right there. And I don't think these are going to line up, so yeah, they're not. I'll have to work on that off camera. But right now, I just want to make sure it connects up, so let me go ahead and power it up. It says we're connected, so let me go ahead and reset up my camera and we'll do a new test on the speed. Okay, well, in case you couldn't see it, it's really difficult to, to see here, but yeah, I've got some lights blinking there, so I've obviously got some data crossing over my network, so this looks like it's working. So we'll go ahead and test my internet speeds here, so let me go ahead and do a reset here, see what we got. Oh, wow. That's a world of improvement right there. Wow, so obviously my switch was definitely outdated. Well, my upload speeds have slowed a little bit. They're not getting over five. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting to five. Interesting, so 88 megabits per second download, and then 5 megabits upload. Now what I might do, because my ISP is actually offering one month for free, I might go to the next tier to check the speeds on it for a comparison, and then I think it's uh, Standard, uh, Elite, and then there's Ultra. So Ultra is the fastest that's offered, aside from fiber optic, which has not been run in my area yet. So let me contact them and see if we can bump this up to the next level, which I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'll find out off camera. So I've gone up to the Ultra package, which is basically doubling my speeds. Um, and basically it's almost there. I'm averaging about 90 megabits download. 
come to find out the Elite 1 gig service is not even available in my area, but I can get another additional 250 gig download speed or megabit speed and 20 megabit upload, but it's, you know, I mean, I'd have to probably pay for one of them, so they're offering me the Ultra upgrade, which is basically going from 250 to 500 megabit download. Yeah, I'm showing 89.09 and 9.53 upload with the new Ultra package, so definitely my speeds have definitely increased. Another possibility is my Cat5 cable is pretty old, and if I upgrade it to the Cat5e, that might improve it some more. So, and of course I've got the older Cat5 cables run all through my walls, so that would be a real pain to try to reroute all those, but no, for now, I mean, at least I've got better speed, so this is something I'm just going to have to tinker with over time to see if I can get, uh, you know, somewhere better than, uh, that's the survey email, I'll delete that. Um, so we'll see what, uh, you know, if I get any better speed swapping out the Cat5 with the Cat5e cables, maybe I can get some more download speed, but for right now, I'm averaging about 90, 90 download 90 megabits download and uh, just under 10 megabits upload so definitely helped a lot okay well I'm doing an update on this existing video um, learned something new here that it looks like it is my computer that is also a hindrance I went to uh, if you go in the search bar in the start menu and you type in uh, let's see NC PA dot CPL and press enter. It'll bring you up to the local network connection which I currently have which is network 6. When I double click on that if you see the speed it is showing only 100 megabits per second capable. So it's my Ethernet card that uh, is basically on board in my motherboard so that is the problem right there. I mean, obviously the switch was a problem as well, but it's obviously my motherboard, so I can probably get a PCI um, network adapter or Ethernet card that's 1G capable. So that's what I'm probably going to go ahead and do and maybe see if I can upgrade this on my computer, but I'll do another speed test on my other computer, which is actually 1 gig or 1, you know, 1G capable, you know, 1,000 megabits per second capable, so I'll show you the results on it. Alright, so on my video editing computer, this one is 1G capable, if you can see that. You can't really get much closer. But, uh, yeah. Speed is 1 GP, GBPS, basically 1 gigabit per second. So this one can handle 1,000 megabits. And for proof, I'll pull up the speed test on this. Uh, I don't want lending tree. Uh, let me do a refresh on my speedtest.net. There's my downloads coming. So we're over 500, 50356. My uploads are where they need to be. They take a little bit to get there, but it gets to 10. And I got to 9.33 this time, but uh, off camera, it got pretty much like 9.8. So 9.9, .9, it was right at 10. I might try it one more time just for fun. See if I can get it to 10. But yep, so that's my problem on my my older computer, which I still use Windows 7 on. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that to see if I can find a PCI you know, Ethernet card that's 1G capable. If that uh, is an option, it might be. And if it is, I may go ahead and get that to put in my computer. Yeah, so we're still getting about 9.36. So that's still, um, now, now I'm getting what I'm paying for, basically. 
you know. So, yep, the problem is my Ethernet port on board my computer, so it's only 100 megabit per second capable. So there's my follow-up to this video, so, yep, I've got a newer modem, got a newer switch, but I'm still limited by the Ethernet port on my computer, so I need to upgrade that, but my newer state-of-the-art video editing computer that I do for my YouTube videos, it's obviously got what I need here, so I've got the speeds and all that, so fair enough. So there you go, just a follow-up on my internet speeds and upgrading my you know, modem and switch. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if I have a further update, I'll I'll do an updated video and accordingly and put a link to this one. So, till next time, adios.